betrayed and betrayed. I guess differently by different um, media outlets. Maybe on TV, not as great as they should be. I feel like a lot of the talent here goes unrecognized with the youth and everything like that. Probably overlooked. I feel like youth are betrayed. Uh, like right now, they're betrayed. It's like excuse the language but it's really true like most people feel like they're portrayed as idiots you know what i'm saying like yeah like they're lost like they don't want to learn you know what i mean and that they're only good as being in the streets or you know that's it like there's no future or whatever like you know they just don't care except anything for partying and having fun and vandalizing other people's property you know what i mean that's not true so with that being said, how does that make you feel? It pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel people forget, like, yo, you were a youth at one point in time. So did you feel like you were lost? You know what I'm saying? Did you feel like you were an idiot? Did you feel like you weren't anything good enough except for vandalizing your property? You probably didn't, right? So then why do you feel like youth now are the same way? Like, we forget that we forget what we were when we were younger, and as we get older, we tend to just we get lost. You know Melt away. Melt yeah. away. Not everybody. Sometimes we just gotta catch it back. What do you want people to know about Detroit Youth? Or what do you want people to know about the project? Um, I'd say that for me, I would think that what people should know most about the Detroit Youth is the culture. And I think Detroit, we have our own culture here. And um, all of us, we share a special um, culture here in Detroit. There's a lot of things from here. and because of all of the, I mean, especially hip hop, the arts and everything that's here, there's so many talented youth and I think that the knowledge that the youth have here is a lot of things that youth other places don't really have or don't experience and um, it's really Yo, valuable. I want, I want Detroit youth to be portrayed as creative, you know what I'm saying? Like sponges, you know what I mean? Like if you give them an idea, if they have something, you give them this open opportunity, like they'll take it and they run with it in like a creative way where you look at it and you're like, wow. I would have never thought about it like that. What can you do to change how youth be portrayed? Um, I think the best thing to do to change that is for the youth to work together and making their voices be heard, like get involved with as many organizations as possible or just hang out more and um, get better at doing things around the community and school and um, like all that stuff with the Freedom School and everything like that. Just more stuff like that I think would be really good for the youth. Things like that. <laughs> I mean, like right now, like we were saying, like the way youth are portrayed is in the media. So, and then the negative is in the media. So, how about we portray it positive in the media? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just where it's at right now. We're in a futuristic age where it's just like anything you're trying to show or say, it all has to be put in some type of futuristic way. So, the media, audio, video, whatever. So, uh, whatever I can portray, whatever I can contribute with that, then that's what I'm going to do. I try to show my best the way you thought supposed to be portrayed. With uh, groups like uh, Detroit Summer and Day Project, how are y'all actually helping me by letting people know that youth are like I mean, not like, invisible? like the whole Detroit Future Youth Network, Detroit Summer Day Project, you know, everybody that's in it, all the organizations, we're giving the youth that opportunity, that open door, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead and take it if they like it. You know what I'm saying? We're giving them the opportunity to share their voices however they feel is, is the way they want to share it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, we may guide them here and there where it just, you know, you may need a little push or, or even a lift up. But at the end of the day, it's youth led. You know, you guys take it, you know, so that you can be able to, when you get older in the future, be able to share it down to somebody younger than you and give that youth an opportunity to show how they really are in a positive light. You know what I'm saying? So, in that core inner self, you know, it's, it's all about uplift. We're all learning, you know what I'm saying? And if you have that, the better insight on it, you know, you can guide them. But once you give them that open opportunity, like, yo, they'll take it and, and, and make something great out of it. And that's what I feel like Detroit you should be definitely portrayed as creative and intelligent. You know what I mean? Yeah, children are the future. Youth are the future. Young and old. Okay, thank you for letting me interview you. Oh, that's no problem. Peace.